What was something hugely popular that suddenly fell off the face of the earth? I know a guy who saw the fidget spinner thing coming. He mass produced a bunch of them. Sold through the entire stock. Then sold his company immediately after and bowed out right before the whole thing created. I sort of feel sorry for whoever he left holding the bag. But man. Those things just didn't stick around long. Do the Harlem Shake. I went to a wedding reception in 2019 where the whole wedding party danced to a montage of different songs. And then right at the end Harlem Shake. Seeing people in tuxes and fancy dresses do that was pretty amusing. As was explaining to the older people at the reception that what they just witnessed was a craze from like five years previously. That moustache thing? Like early 2010s every girl had moustaches on everything. Moustache bags. Pencil cases. Clothes. ETC. Remember when Lyft first started and people identified themselves as Lyft drivers by having a giant fuzzy pink moustache on their front bumper? 3D TVS. I am not sure if I would call them hugely popular but it says one year they were super popular and by the following year there was barely one in sight. There was almost no content produced and they were insanely expensive. I actually had a 3D ready TV but the glasses themselves cost something like $150 a piece. I said fuck that. Probably Game of Thrones. I don't even see many memes about the ending being bad anymore. No one talks about it. Good answer. I was all ready to slap down $100 to $150 for the full series on Blu-ray and was waiting for it to finish before I bought any seasons and so glad I did because now I would even pay $50. Those sour altoids. Damn those were good. Lofty Pursuits. A YouTube channel and candy maker in Florida. Has brought them back recently. Connie 2012. I got in trouble when they made us watch that in school. I said that people would forget about it in six months. I just didn't expect it to go away in that manner. The whole Joe Exotic thing didn't last very long. Although there are periodic updates. Among other things. The property was sold, and cannot be used as a zoo for at least 100 years and one of the zookeepers. Who did appear on the show? Died from an overdose. I honestly feel like that was peak pandemic TV. Are those fidget spinners still around? I used one in the hospital after some trauma and it was great. I didn't have the mental energy for Netflix, reading, or audiobooks. I loved my fidget spinner and wiggling my toes in brightly colored socks. Fidget spinners, great hospital gifts. Furbies. Not that I mind. Those things were creepy. Pokemon Go. Sure it still exists. But there was one summer that it united the world. I still get on it from time to time. Summer 16 was such a crazy time. I wish that feeling would have lasted forever. Silly bands anybody? They come in cycles. All three of my kids got into them at different times. Those commercials that try and sell you wallpaper for your phone. Not the wallpaper but the ringtones. Some of them would ask like 7 euros monthly for a shitty cartoon character yelling at you as a ringtone. Never ever knew someone IRL that paid for that. Different colored ketchups. There was one color I would not eat. It made me gag. I think it was the purple one. Pogs. Oh man. I still have my tube of pogs somewhere in the attic. Hundreds of them. I even had Odd Simpson murder trial pogs. Susan Powder and her Stop the Insanity videos. She was everywhere on cable TV in the 90s. Now there's a throwback. Back when my mom was all into snack wells and non-fat endments. MySpace. Everyone seemed to peace out of it at the same time. It was good for posting music online and then they lost all the music with a bad migration. I'll never forgive them for the music I lost from my band around 2006 or 2007. Bacon Fetish. For like a decade in the early 2000s people wouldn't shut up about how bacon was the best thing ever. T-shirts. Bumper stickers, memes, aprons, etc. That shit was everywhere. And these days bacon is just a normal food again. Lomfeo. They apologized for party rocking and then never party rocked again. Slot car racing was huge in the 70s. Now it is nearly extinct. I show my class CNN 10 most days. Today's story was about toy companies worrying about having their toys in stock for Christmas due to the dock worker shortage. 
for some reason. The segment focused on slot cars. I kept asking what year this was that CNN 10 thought kids would connect with slot car makers. Yahoo Games. I used to play so much pool on Yahoo. Ed Hardy Clothing. That shit is still around. You'll find the dudes with the bedazzled butt pockets on their jeans adorned in Ed Hardy and their affliction tees. Live Strong Bracelets. Fall Guys. It has a huge boost being free on PS Plus. Upper Gangnam Style. Only fell off here. In South Korea Sai has his own successful record label. Heelys. They're kinda back in style with some of the older Gen Zs. It's an. I walk around with a CD player in 2021 type of aesthetic. Ponchos. It felt like every girl was wearing them in the 2000s and then I've never seen one since. When someone asks me. Do you have a poncho? I don't say no. Instead I say, not right now. Because I do have a blanket and some scissors. I am never more than two minutes away from owning a poncho. Squid Game. I'm from the future. That's about 90% of popular Netflix shows though. The downside to releasing the entirety of a show at once. Dane Cook. He just wanted to do a B&E.